Hey, Lacey, can I order something? Just a minute. There. What do you think? I'm thinking fries. No, not that. Why can't I have fries? I mean the curtains. They were starting to look a little shabby. Oh, yeah, they do look a little shabby. Hank. What? I'm agreeing with you. The old ones were shabby. These are new. Huh? Oh, you put me on the spot. That's why I don't have a girlfriend. Yeah, that's the reason. Would you just tell me the truth? Then can I have some fries? Yes. Okay. It doesn't matter what this place looks like. It's attached to a gas station, which looks kind of junky and bad. So everyone just expects this place to look junky and bad, too. Can I have some fries now? No. But... Wanda, one of us is late for work, and when I get here, I'll tell you which one of us it is. Oh, wait, I was already here. Oh, what a giveaway. How long have you been thinking that one up? Just off the top of my head. Okay, I thought of it last Thursday. I had to walk. My car is on the fritz. On the fritz? Zowie, what a kick in the knickers. Look, I haven't had the best start to my day, and I haven't even had my coffee yet. So could you shut your zing hole for two minutes? Zing hole? Why would I shut my zing hole? I can get a few good zings in before you wake up and start zinging me back. Give me a raise so I can get my car fixed. It's not really a zing. It's more of a crazy pipe dream. All right, everybody, could I have your attention? Your attention, please. Does anybody own a pickup truck with a cracked windshield? Now that I have your attention, it's time once again for the annual Telemiracle fundraiser. This year, we're doing something kind of fun. We're actually putting the fun in fundraiser. And the fun starts now. I have Davis locked in jail at the police station, and he has agreed to not come out until the town can raise a bail of $1,000. Jeez, poor Davis. Sitting there all by himself. Solitary confinement. Exactly. Davis is doing hard time. It's no walk in the park. Okay, goose down comforter, hypoallergenic pillow, Earl Grey tea. No chamomile? They were out. Oh, this is gonna be hell. Oh, well, it's a good cause, so I am gonna donate some money. And I think everyone else should, too. What? Nothing. It's a start, I guess. We're, uh... One five hundredth of the way there. Well. <laughs> oh, what do you think of my new curtains? Don't say anything. We need a new toilet. What? We just got that one. Oh, that's right. And then we went out and bought one of those fancy new color televisions. You saying there's something wrong with the TV? Most people have flat screens that hang on the wall. We can hang our TV on a wall. Forget the TV. The toilet's an eyesore. The toilet bowl's rusted out, and that floating thing at the back no longer floats. It's fine. It serves its purpose. Oscar, are you going to mow the lawn or not? I'm after every day this week, and I'm going to mow the lawn. Just get some cleaning stuff and some scrubby things. That toilet will look good as new. You know what's even better than good as new? New. Do you think corner gas looks junky? I hadn't really thought about it. Well, it looks junky to me. Okay. I mean, that's probably why you weren't very enthusiastic about my curtains. You know, it's probably because this place is connected to the gas station and the gas station's kind of junky, so who cares about my curtains? Exactly, who cares? That's what I think. Hey, can I get a cola? At this time of day? Yeah, I actually prefer to get my caffeine that way. No, oh, I didn't know that. With Davis, I usually drink coffee. Why? Shouldn't drink that stuff, especially in the morning. It'll rot your gut and it won't help your complexion. 
It's just pure sugar. That's all it is. And if you're like me, it'll go right to your thighs. No reason. You ever done time before? It's harder than you think. Have you ever done time before? No, but I've seen a lot of prison movies. And from what I can tell, you're in for a world of pain. It's gone? No, I'm good. Brent, I don't want to hurt your feelings, but your gas station looks kind of junky and bad. Everybody's saying so. Well, Hank said so. Well, if Hank said so. And Karen went on and on about it. Well, look, a, a gas station should be a little junky. Should have a little grease on the floor. Or whatever that is by the cooler. Don't you think your business could benefit from a little sprucing up? Geez, what is that by the cooler? I'm serious. Doesn't smell like grease. Oh. Hey, Wanda. Care to make a donation to get Davis out of jail? Depends on what he did. Maybe some time in the hoose cow will teach him a lesson. The what? The hoose cow. The coop. The can. The clink. All right, I get it. The big house. The jug. All right, I get it. We're just trying to raise money for the Telemiracle fundraiser. We're putting the fun back in fundraising. Forget it. I need every penny I can get so I can get my car. I mean, I'm also fundraising for a charity that needs funds. What charity? The Foundation for Eradicating Severe Moleculitis in Kids. Moleculitis? Any bit helps. You're taking the fun out of fundraising. You ever seen that movie, Cool Hand Luke? That's a prison movie. Is it like that in there? Yeah, pretty much the same. Guy in that movie ate 50 hard-boiled eggs. Trying to read. I could eat 50 eggs. What's the most eggs you ever ate in one sitting? Two. Isn't there some place you could go? I could go get some eggs. Got a hot plate in there. It's not just the price of the toilet. They kill you on the installation. I'll do it for you. What? I could use the money. Plus, I'm an old hand at that stuff. I used to date kind of a handyman type guy. So for a nice finish, we just want to take a bead of caulk around the base of the toilet, wet your finger, carry it through on the caulking for a nice clean line. Hey, are you listening? Yeah, yeah, finger in the toilet. Boy, he sure know how to show a gal a good time. I don't know, Wanda. I mean, I appreciate the offer, but this has to be done right. That's where I come in. I'll work cheap. Done. Oscar! Can you donate money to get Davis out of the Huskow? The what? You know, jail, the prison, the jug house. What the hell are you talking about? It's for Tell a Miracle. Davis is going to stay in a jail cell until we can raise $1,000. Does he have a working toilet? I hope so. <laughs> well, then he's not getting my money. Brent, I had it. <laughs> Sorry, I was just engrossed in this. There's this giant, hairy, kind of half rock type creature who has a lightning machine. Oh, well, that's a long story. Yes, it is. And I was wondering if I could put these flowers here. Why would we put flowers in a gas station? Because it'll give the place a more welcoming feel. It's just a little thing. People will probably hardly even notice, but it'll have a positive subconscious effect. Hey, flowers. Those for sale? No. That's stupid. Well, he seemed positive it was stupid. I said that it would be subconscious. You sure you know what you're doing? Don't I look like I know what I'm doing? No, that's why I'm asking. Is your tool belt on upside down? Oh, well, it's a loner. Look, you two go downstairs. You don't have to worry about a thing. Just gonna go in here and see what we're dealing with. 
Okay, I got a good start on things. Sorry about the shoes, Davis. I know you hate that. I don't know how you can stand it in there, like being buried alive. Claustrophobia must be murder. Hank, for the last time, I'm fine. Please go home. Nope. We're in this together. I don't want company. You and me. I mean, sure, on the outside we're different, but on the inside, we're the same. Except you're inside and I'm outside, and I'm not going to leave you. Hank, I want you to listen to me very carefully. The only hardship I'm facing in here is that you're here. You're making this difficult. So please, go! Karen and this charity have driven you to the point of madness where you lash out at me. Well, I'm not going to leave you, buddy. Not when your mind is starting to comprehend the cage. My mind's not doing that. Denial. I'm not in denial. Denial of denial is one of the first signs of denial. If I wasn't scared of what might happen leaving you here alone, I'd go get help. Really? You'd go? Well, yeah, these walls, are, they're closing in on me. I, I can't breathe. The, the pulse racing. Mine. Busy. I gotta get Karen. <sighs> or I could just call her. Go. Hi, Emma. Want to donate to the Get Davis Out of Jail fundraiser? It's okay if you don't want to. I've taken up too much of your time. What is it? Oh, it's complicated. You're busy. It involves fun and putting that into fundraising. I'll just come back another time. That's your pitch. I'm underwhelmed. Well, it's like people say, Davis being in jail isn't really much of a hardship. Uh, what? You like being alone. You like the peace and quiet of someone not nattering in your ear. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Whenever Oscar's not around. I listen to beautiful classical music. You play classical records? I just hear the music in my head whenever Oscar's not around. Dirty Sama! I'm okay! We're getting some work done. On a completely unrelated topic, are there any large band aids? Oh, come on. Modern art now? In a gas station? It's not modern. It's contemporary. What's the difference? The difference is that these are going up in here somewhere. Fine. If sticking those on the wall are going to keep you from hanging crystals and draping gold flambé over everything, go ahead. Hey, just want to know anything about plumbing because holy hell, what are you doing to the 1977 Junior All-Star Hockey poster? I am just hanging a few prints. Well, that poster's been hanging there since 1977. Holy hell, the 1976 Junior All-Star poster. That's where that went. <laughs> I give up. Yeah, I wish I could believe that. Hey, you gotta give me the keys to the cell so I can let Davis out. Sorry, Hank, can't do that. We haven't raised enough funds yet. How can you tell him, you even counted all that cash? Trust me. Hey, Brent Cubber, all metal file. Thanks, pal. Hey, Brent, can I borrow a hammer? Thanks. Can I borrow a jigsaw, drywall trowel, power drill, caulking gun, tiling blade? Thanks. Hey, Brent, can I, uh... No, you can't paint the place. Wow. You're good. You didn't even look up. I'm on a roll. What are you doing? Karen wouldn't give me the key. Now, I know these things are supposed to come hidden in a big cake, but time's a-wasting, and I don't know how to bake. Thanks a lot. Now I have a craving for cake. I got it. Oh, yeah, we were meaning to get the lock fixed.
Hi, Karen. How's your idiotic fundraiser going? Ah, you were right, Oscar. <laughs> if I had a nickel for every time I heard that. <laughs> You'd have what, five cents? I didn't come up with a stupid idea turning Davis into jailbait. I don't think that's the phrase you're looking for. He's probably happy being alone. Peace and quiet. You know, when Emma's not around, I listen to classical music. <laughs> Buddy Holly, Ray Stevens, Boxcar Willie. <laughs> Davis isn't alone. Hank's with him. Hank's with him? You didn't say that. Poor guy. Here's ten bucks. Mind if I light some incense? Sure, go nuts. What's that funk? Is something burning? The incense. <laughs> I just asked you if I could light incense. Eleven seconds ago. Oh, I wasn't really listening. These comic books require focus, you know. This will really freshen the place up. Come on, just take a deep breath. Let the aroma envelop you. It smells like hippies. How old are you? Well, it smells like what I imagine hippies probably smelled like. Give it a chance. All right. But if a VW van pulls up out front, I'm calling the fuzz. Just putting the finishing touches on. I thought you said you knew what you were doing. It's a process. And it doesn't help you keep interrupting me. How's it going in there? Are you all right? Will you like some lemonade? Driving me nuts. Hey, did you hear? Davis is locked in jail with Hank. Holy hell. Wanda, let me. It's a process. Yeah, though I can't take much more of this. Well, you get what you pay for. I mean, I can't take much more without using the toilet. I'm about ready to burst, and I have to wash my hair before bingo. We'll use the kitchen sink. Good idea. She meant me. And I can't use the sink. You shut off all the water to the house. I did. Cool. I gotta get out of this room. Did you say Davis was locked up with Hank? That's just cruel. I should have donated. Karen, I just heard about Davis in there with Hank. Here's a hundred dollars for the charity. What? My kids smashed all their piggy banks. It, it's not much, but it's what we've got. Get him out. Get who out? What are you doing here? Well, once I got Davis free, I figured my job was done. Davis is out? Well, that's uh, not really for me to say. No, out of jail. Oh, yeah, like four hours ago. What's up, Jackass? What's with the toothbrush? Did Mom finally give you the boot? These bathrooms are quite large and comfortable. So you kicked each other out? It's an interesting development. Well, thanks for not crashing to my place. Hey, you can take back your hippie sticks. You didn't give them a chance. I had to spray a can and a half of bug repellent in the air just to mask the reek. The reek? Now, what is wrong with a little citrus brambleberry eucalyptus potpourri? I don't know what those words mean, except citrus. That, that means oranges. So you're okay with spraying noxious chemicals, but you can't handle a little flowers and berries. Well, bug spray smells like summertime. You're well over a thousand dollars. There's like two grand here. I didn't count it. Trust me. What were you going to do with the extra money? Why is that dashboard all scuffed up? It's not. And I was going to give the extra money to Mokolatis and kids. Tell you what. How about we throw Davis in the clink for a couple more days? Lock him up good this time. This isn't fair. It's for charity. It is roomier in here than I imagined. I had the lock fixed. Have an egg. Where is she? She quit on us, left us high and dry. Well, not dry. You got a milk? Give me that. How could you leave us high and wet like this? Okay, okay. It's taking some time, but I think I know now what needs to be done. I'm glad you called. You know, I've really missed you. Maybe we can go out for a drink after this, please. Less pout, more grout.
Hi, Lacey. Just collecting money for charity. Oh, what's the cause? Keeping Karen in jail with Hank. I can't support that. Okay, no problem. Ooh, like the new curtains. Really? Oh, yeah, they go great with the Formica tabletops and the burgundy and chrome banquettes. Classic. Oh, it's a good cause. Plus, it doesn't hurt being next to Corner Gas. The dumpier that place is, the better this place looks. Really? Thanks, Davis. Looks like she bought it. <laughs> Glad I can help. Money well spent. Want to have a gas online? Visit us at cornergas.com. <laughs>